Yesterday, Valentin C tweeted me a Reddit discussion where someone had found a, a bug created by a really weird JavaScript gotcha. So I boiled it down to this, this little quiz here. So given this piece of code, what is logged and in what order? I polled Twitter about this and, and these are the results, well, a couple of hours before the poll ended. At the time I created this, 48% say the order will be one, then three. It's the most popular answer. 26% uh, say two, then three. But the correct answer, as 20% of people voted, is one, then two. I really, really love this because, you know, looking at this code, x is being incremented by one and x is being incremented by two, but it never equals three. And this isn't a problem unique to promises, and it doesn't really have anything to do with closures either. To, to figure out what's going on here, let's step through the code. We start by creating a variable x and making it equal zero. Then we call test. Now, although test is an async function, async functions are called synchronously. Yeah, that's right, async functions are called synchronously. You know it makes sense, just, just gloss over that for now. So we jump straight into here. And this is the line where all the gotchas are. First up, plus equals isn't anything special in JavaScript, it's just syntactic sugar. It unravels to x equals x plus whatever. JavaScript then starts evaluating the right-hand side of the equals to see what it should assign to x. So we start by evaluating x here, uh, which is currently zero, uh, and now we move on to this next bit, await two. Now, two isn't a promise but that doesn't mean it's available synchronously. When you await something, it's automatically cast to a promise using resolve. So let's unravel that as well. So this value isn't available until the next microtask checkpoint. Uh, I'll link to a talk I gave about the event loop which explains microtasks in detail, but briefly, microtasks don't execute until script has finished running. We're still running script right now, so this part of the function has to wait. Meanwhile, we're incrementing x by 1 down here. So let's unravel that as we did before. First thing we do is evaluate x, which is 0. So we assign 0 plus 1 to x, so x becomes 1. And then we log x, which is now 1. So that's our first answer. We've now finished running script, and that means we can run that microtask. We're back here, and we can evaluate this as 2. But what do we assign to x? Well, x is now 1, but we evaluated it back when it was 0, and we don't reevaluate it. So x now equals 0 plus 2, which is 2. So x is now 2. We log x, x is 2, we log 2. And there's the answer. This gotcha isn't unique to async functions either. You can create this same sort of weird problem using generators, where you'll be yielding instead of awaiting. So is this just a, an edge case, or is it something you might hit in the real world? Well, like I said, this came to my attention through a Reddit discussion of real-world code. Uh, the real-world code was a little bit different. It was more like this. Uh, this isn't exactly what the code was like, but it, it's got the same sort of problems. The developer was getting some files, then getting the sizes of those files in parallel, and then trying to figure out the total. Now, doing this in parallel is great, because it's going to be a lot faster. It's going to make, make better use of the, of the file system. However, this is going to be evaluated before any of the sizes are returned. Total size is always going to be zero when this part of the line is executed. As before, we can unravel this, uh, and now it's kind of easier to see the problem. Total size isn't going to be the total, it's going to be the size of whatever size is returned last. So the developer was seeing values much lower than they expected, and it was non-deterministic because it depended on which sizes were coming back from the file system last. In my opinion, the best way to avoid this is to split these actions up. So instead of doing the, the await and the incrementing on the same line, we're going to await the file size first and then do the incrementing on a separate line. This means we're no longer mixing code we expect to be synchronous with async code, and this will produce the expected value. So I hope that was useful. Um, uh, check out the description where I'll link to the uh, event loop talk I mentioned earlier and also the original Reddit discussion. Thanks for watching.